Hello everyone, this is Animation for welcome back to some more FTB Affinity Evolved. So remember that problem I said I had when the game crashed? I think it's about to happen again. There actually is a block here. If I try to stand on it, it's going to be all weird. Um, it misloaded. If I right-click this, it's going to crash. Yeah. Probably going to have to move that to in one chunk instead of split between them. Okay, so it's testing time. Uh, so these... Oh, these are charge pads. Oh, oops. Um, I was wondering why they had those weird symbols on top. They're actually charge pads. Okay, so these MFSUs are all full. They all contain 40 million EU. Uh, these capacitor banks can contain a hundred million RF. I'm actually going to expand them a little bit. Um, just to make sure there's enough room for all the power. And we're going to see the conversion rate between EU and RF. Now, each of these coils behaves differently. Each of them has a loss depending on how much you put through. And there's a whole formula for determining it. Um, I'm just going to test them. Medium, medium. I'm not going to do this by time, because obviously they different. They have different rates, I think. Uh, I'm just going to do it by the amount that ends up in there. Really? Did they all? They all drain some. Okay. Boop. So can I set this? Input. Nothing. Okay. Did I have that backwards? Is, is this supposed to not connect to that face? It might not. Are you not supposed to connect to that face? Now it's going. No redstone behavior. This isn't draining. No, no, let me, let me figure this out. So for whatever reason, the MFU just doesn't want to output. It wants to hold on to that energy. Uh, but if you are producing energy, like in this generator, it does output, and the conversion rate is exactly 4. So four, or 1 EU produces 4 RF. So in terms of the nuclear reactor, I don't remember what the EU outputs is, uh, but that's going to be straight converted. Uh, I'm going to do a quick setup here where I rebuild that, um, where I rebuild the reactor and see which cable's the best, because again, they have loss, and I'll, although I do have power, more power is always good. I'm power hungry. Here we go, here's the setup. 240 EU, so that's almost 1k RF, that's, that's pretty good. Let's see which of these can do well. This does nothing. Um, what? Hello? Game crash? No. Don't attach to that face, maybe? These experiments are going so well. Input. No. MV connector. MV cable. There we go. Why wasn't the first one working? Maybe it was just too much. 954. Okay. 240 times 4 is 960. So we're losing 6 RF per tick with medium voltage coils. And the idea is this is going to go straight into a tesseract. So it's not going to really matter past the first cable. Which I guess the length of the cable does matter. HV, we get 957. This one is 954, right? A whole three RF per tick for making high voltage wire connectors. Which is aluminum and steel, as opposed to electrum. Not incredibly worth it. Now what happens, I built this whole thing and it even used the 
happens if it's right here, right in front of it. Very little space to go. Perfect 960. Good about medium. medium. Oh, no, the connector. Oh, so close. That's close enough, though. Uh, so I'm going to make a Tesseract and all the energy from this, which is basically useless energy. Uh, oh, I'm not going to use the energy yet. I might at some point, but not yet. All the energy from this is going to be converted into RF and is probably going to be used to power the laser drill. Uh, and eventually this will turn to plutonium. And once that happens, um, I'll get two plutonium out of it. Once that happens three times, I'll have six plutonium, and I'll have enough to make an iridium ore. <laughs> Basically, I'm going along to... Actually, no, I should... I should really should make a mass fabricator. Just kind of start making the UU matter. Later. I'm going to need a Tesseract anyway, right? Right? Let me take a look at this. I wonder if this is just a mass fabricator here. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Okay, no, make, making this. I'm just going to make a mass fabricator and drop it next to it. We're going to slowly start producing this UU matter. That's the new plan. Okay, so it's time to start crafting. Um, so this inventory panel, I figured it out. Uh, you have to set this to extract and always active because it doesn't default put things back it, it can just take things this return area is what returns things and you actually have to be pulling from this return area for it to go back in so it basically pulls at the rate the panel would and if i wanted to i could put some uh some item conduit speed upgrades these things that's not that bad or downgrades. Uh, so here we go. Uh, we are making a mass fabricator. Generate mass out of energy. We need two advanced circuits, two advanced machine case. I'm going to start here. Uh, find iron plates. Uh, it's four, need eight refined iron plates. I should be writing this down somewhere. Eight refined iron plates. Four advanced circuits, uh, 16 iron plates, actually more than 16. So I have to make up for the alloys. The alloys are, I need to do this twice, that's three, six more iron. So 22 iron plates. Okay. Yeah, so much iron. Okay, what the heck? Where did my iron go? Did I make some and not do anything with it? Okay, I'm really confused. Hopefully there's iron in in this thing. Otherwise I'm out. And no, I don't know why I haven't hooked this up yet. It's 49. Is this thing set up to go iron? I think this is iron. Yeah. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I think I got everything. Do this. Laptron crystal. Advanced machine casings and glowstone. Mass fabricator, there we go. Okay, this wrench is almost broken. I'm gonna probably have to make a new one. Um, so I got to go move the, what you call it now, the reactor. Got to go move the reactor out of the chunk border. So that way when I come in, it's always fully loaded. Hopefully it's fully loaded. Ah, stop doing! Why? 
It's only ever when I'm not wearing my armor. Actually, there was that one time I was wearing my armor. At least this time I wasn't carrying, like, reactor material. But still, it's always two. They're always right on the spot. And then I have to spend the time to put everything that I have back on, put everything back into the bag. Yeah, it's just annoying. Remember what was in the bag and what wasn't. Something like that. Pants. They broke my pants. They, they, they broke my pants. I have to now know. I have to now go get new pants because these stupid zombies decided that they're gonna break them. It's a light level here. Nine, eight, nine. Do I have any torches? Let me move a torch to right there. If anything does spawn, hopefully it'll spawn like over here more. But nothing should spawn. So this time I'm going to go in wearing my armor so that if, if if that happens I'm not bombarded and it didn't happen because I'm wearing my armor okay okay I'm just gonna toss these get a fresh set oh uh, what else do I have for junk my inventory this is junk this is junk I don't use this Junk. Okay. So, all suited up, and it's broken again. Gotta fix this. Yeah, because this chunk's loaded, so I should really move it over to here. But if this chunk's loaded, why is this one still here? Oh well, see you in a second after I crash and reload. Okay, so with IC2 stuff, let me put this on. There is a chance that it'll break when you pick it up. Right, stuff's gonna spew out of this. Oh shoot, shoot! Is it on? No, it's not on. Okay. So if these cooling things weren't in it, uh, it would start overheating. Okay, so we got that one back. I should I should really empty it first. Uh, Those are my legs, actually. Jeez. Oh. Okay. So, hopefully I can get all these. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. That one. Okay. Place the lever down. This is the big one. Oh, my God. Poo. Somehow I knew that was going to happen. Just because I'm that unlucky. Can these ones even break? Yeah, they, they're made out of base machine casing. I could have gotten the machine casing back. You know, but that'd be lucky. Mm, you know. That's, that's too easy. So I did not get that. And I now have to go... Make a new nuclear reactor. Because I was unlucky. Isn't that fun? Okay. See you in like two hours. Alright. <laughs> Made the reactor. Wasn't too bad. It's 
Still took a lot of stuff. A lot of unnecessary materials. See? No zombies, because I'm wearing my armor. That's how it works. Okay. Change out which corner I'm putting it in. This one. Okay. Goes there. There we go. And now, a few rods. I forgot the rest of the cooling fans. It's fine. Oh, can they stack? They're stacking. Why did they not stack before when I needed inventory space? <sighs> okay, gotta go get the rest of those. It's raining. I didn't know it could rain here. Is that going to be a problem? hope it's not going to be a problem. Cool beans. Uh, where did I put the lever? Lever is right here. Okay. And then... That fabricator just, just kind of sits there. Uh, what I want to do is I have the machine to make all the, the slag. This not slag. The scrap. I'd like to get that sent here. Which means I gotta set up something for that. Regardless, core is stable. We're good. Five percent. The reactors are being consumed very, very slowly, at a rate of 0.01 percent every other second. Basically, they're going to last a while, and hopefully, by the time they're done, we're going to have a bunch of mass. So now, we got to get the scrap from... Going backwards again. Got to get the scrap from the recycling plant to the mass fabricator. And I'm not doing it by hand because, well, there's a lot of it. There's 123 stacks in here. It's almost a third full, and filling up... Quite, quite quickly. Um, at some point, I plan on adding more cyclers here, even. Because if you look here, this thing's full. Where'd the redstone come from? I guess a witch. Wait, was that? Ooh, niter. Sugar. Every now and again, I just gotta check up the chicken. <laughs> you kill the chicken. And sometimes there's some good things, like niter and sugar. Okay. So, what I need now is... We have a single ender tank frame. How did that happen? How did I end up with a single ender tank frame? One for that. One for the one in the nether. Tank, tank, chest, chest. I didn't put an ender chest. I did put an ender chest somewhere else, didn't I? Yes. Right there. That's where that last one went. Okay, so I need to make some more ender tank frames. Um, which now that I now that I can make these pretty easy, it's not that bad. Um, so here we go. I'm not gonna do this all here. Oh shoot! Just go into here. I need steel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need obsidian. One, two. I need some gold. Uh, one, two, three. I need some endurium. Uh, one, two, three, four? Question mark? Yeah, four. I need an emerald. And red. There you go. That's all that it takes. It's not that much. Okay, so I got the barrel hooked up to an ender chest. You see, it's already filling up. Let me grab uh, some of these transfer nodes right here. And we're going to head back. We're going to drop the same thing on the other side going into the, uh, the ender chest here. Nothing's exploded yet. Seems still functioning. Oh, wow. 21 millibuckets. Wow, this is actually going really well. Alright, um, I need a torch. I'll do 
this and that. This is going to get much louder, but it is obviously going to go a lot faster. So now it's just pulling uh, scrap from uh, the scrap farm, and look how much fast this thing's going. It's going at three times as fast, at least. Yeah. No, that's. It was going. I don't remember how fast it was going. It's that it's going much, much faster. There we go, we got 22 millibuckets. 120 gets me an iridium. These fuel rods are at 77%. Um, and that's over the course of uh, two hours, maybe. So these guys, this thing's got eight hours on them. Um, honestly, it, um, iridium's not too hard to come by. When I made all those fuel rods, I don't think I processed all the uranium I had. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, there's 30 more uranium, 238 right there. Come in here. There's 8 more ore. And if we check back... I actually, I actually haven't checked this in a while, so there, there might be none. There might be a ton. I don't know. Check over here. This does get quite a bit of uranium. And yeah, there's 29, 19 nether uranium. So yeah, it's pretty good. And each of the, I'll show you a look at this. I just got slingshotted. Each of the uranium ore can be uh, get made into two crushed. I just used the rock crusher because that's what I have. And then we purified, which gets you 5 room 238, so that's 10 238s and 4 nuggets per ore. So what I got, 480 238s. And how much do we put into these? One? Oh, and it went enriched, so six. Yeah, so one ore makes you 1.4. No, no, some around there. 1.5 at least. So not hard. It's not expensive. Uh, we'll get the plutonium out of that. And it'll all be good. Now the scrap count is slowly decreasing, but it's actually maintaining pretty well. Like, considering how much we're using, look at this. It's holding that number pretty well. It is going to run out at some point, at which point I'm going to add more recyclers. But for the most part, it's going pretty good. So apparently this video is already at that limit. Um, so I added a few more recyclers, and like I was going to show you, way in here, I set up the scrap into the mass fabricator. We're gonna get 159 millibuckets. It took a long time. Like these, these are half decayed at this point. 159. That's really good. Uh, yeah, it's maintaining pretty well. A few more recyclers, and I should be able to have a constant supply to this mass fabricator. At which point, I'm trading off uranium for plutonium at a fair rate, and that'll be pretty nice. But yeah. That's going to end off the episode. Next time, I actually want to kind of take a look at logistics pipes. I just realized they're in this. Uh, I'd really like to get some of these logistics pipes down because I can now. I, th I think the first time I looked at them, we didn't even have the lasers. So we can now set up a logistics pipe system and that should be pretty fun. So thanks for watching. It's raining. I am wet and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.